welcome back to the channel on this video we're actually going to be doing another uh, first part of a series working on this custom character this is actually for the main character for uh, a comic book called uh, the dragon guard uh, a friend of mine is actually a comic book pro and he actually has a uh, his own comic book coming out on the the campaigns on indiegogo the dragon guard which i'll put a link to in the description below and this is going to be his main character now this is what we're going we're working towards. Got a long ways to go. I've done a little bit of work uh, already on it. And he's got a green eyes, green hair, goat armor, the dragon skull armor. And really cool looking design for the character, which means a lot of, a lot of sculpting for me. So first things first, uh, he has the Scale man he has the leather uh, armor on the on his loincloth with the studs. I originally was going to sculpt it with uh, epoxy, but it's very I put it on the on rubber, but it's still too stiff. So on Plan B, I got a broken 2000X uh, triclops. This has got the studded style look that I'm going for. I'm actually going to trim these off. Let's see, the belt has actually got a round crescent on it with the dragon uh, skull. And this one's got the Triclops symbol here. I'm actually going to trim off the uh, leather stud it on both sides and splice it with this uh, Samurai He-Man loincloth piece. It's got the circle here. I could actually smooth over and paint the dragon skull on that. Or actually just go ahead and sculpt the dragon skull onto this one. And it's got the fur on the sides. Like on the artwork. Which will work out really good for what we're doing here. Okay, let's go ahead to... We'll start trimming this off. Oh, and other progress I've already made before. I've made the shoulder pad with the dragon skull. Uh, first thing I did, I just did a rough molding of it in a epoxy. That was another po uh, project I was working on. And I had tape over top of the shoulder and I met the match. The, this is just gonna be too brittle without any kind of structure inside of it. So what I did, I used blue stuff and made a press mold. And made it out of resin that way I can make it thicker. I can add a Robotech style, style joint to the part. And this was a Skolix head from the Red Lanterns that I've cut up, re-sculpted it at the horn, re-did the horns on the back to match up with the artwork a little more. And it's pretty close. Just by doing it that way, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now let's set the figures. And I also did the, used the Procreate. And I did the, the forehead crest. And I used epoxy sculpt to, to make a like elf style, like Vulcan ears on here. And the hair is actually from the Dark Ward Dark World Thor 2-pack with Lady Sith. Uh, the local Ollie's had them for 12 bucks, and that matches up really well with the artwork too, with the style hair, uh, hairstyle that the character has. And I have a, something later on we'll go, I got something to make the dragon scale, scale mail. But first thing, let's work on the belt. Set the parts aside. I have some snips here. We'll slowly work around and remove the pieces I need to work with. Snips are really handy tools to have. All said and done, too, I have a cool belt I can 
keep for my fodder for later projects. Ooh, I don't know what I can do with this. I'll tell you all later. Just popped in my head what I can do with this with this belt piece. Yeah, it should I bet it could look pretty good. There we go. We have the leather studded armor, loincloth pieces freed from the Cracklops belt. Now we're gonna trim off this piece. I'm gonna leave this all on the back. I just want to trim off the. Uh, it's a very similar style, but it's more of a webbed pattern, honeycomb look to it. Go up to the sides. Okay, we have that freed up. Do a little bit of cleanup. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this front piece off. Let's see what this is gonna look like. Oh yeah, that's what the look I'm looking for. Okay. Off the burrs off the plastic where we hit with the Dremel. Better look where we're at. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and trim off this piece here. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to change what I was planning on doing. I was planning on gluing behind it, but I'm afraid if I go behind it, it won't clear the waste. Let's do some disassembly on this thing and I'm on the heat and pop and take the legs arms and stuff off which they need to come off for sculpting too and then do some sculpting inside the forearms get rid of the smooth over this areas here where it's got the robotic stuff and let me heat up some water and we'll take this sucker apart all right we just got the body out of the hot water so we'd start popping them apart If we, this will even fit without modifications. Let's get 
the mask and tape off. Probably should have done that first. I was originally thinking about sculpting the belt. I got looking at the design. I think I can modify these 2000X parts to work. Straighten it out. Uh, cricket? Yes, yeah, very cricket. Rotate it around. Oh, yeah. That is looking great. Oh, and the base body for this is the young Thor from the Gladiator, Gladiator Hulk Wave. Uh, the, I, I like it's a retooled Hyperion mold. I use the Hyperion style arms and legs but a all new upper torso new ab section new torso which is much better proportion sculpted wise than the old hyperion chest the hyperion chest has got that weird shelf on the front and it's very in the neck doesn't line up the shoulders this is a much better sculpt if they keep since they keep wanting to reuse the hyperion mold i don't know why they don't switch to this torso it's so much better Okay, let's see what this will look like. Oh yeah, I think it's going to work, work good. Now let's do some trimming. This is going to work perfect for what I'm needing. Okay. Set up for the shoulder pad to be on the Robotech style joint. That way it's not a fixed shoulder pad. So when you articulate the figure, you can actually move it out of the way. I think this is going to work quite nicely. I'll have to just clean this up a little bit more. Fit and shape the, uh, attach these two together. And I think we're rocking and rolling. A little bit of fitting done with the Dremel. There we go. i get this to key in with the bottom. Match up. Or attach it. Pick off the burrs from the will work. I'm going to go ahead to uh, I think I'm just going to lift the complexity of the armor and stuff on him. I'm going to go ahead and prep the lower waist. I'm going to put some warm on his hips and I'm going to put some brown onto the waist. I 
Let's do burnt sienna. It's a little different from when I usually build my custom, so like you just like to wait and paint, but since I'm gonna be fixing the belt onto the figure, then uh, doing the loincloth piece. We'll do some little different construction than normal. Let's see, I won't be able to paint this area once I put the belt on and attach it. But plan on gluing the belt in place. And I suggest if you don't have any, get you some helping hands. definitely useful and I will be picking back up work on prime again I'm letting the clear coat cure for a couple days before I mask off the armor and apply the dull coat to the flesh tones and the waist yeah, we're going to Call it for a stop for now, and we'll pick this one back up later.